When you arrive at St. John's College, the Porter's Lodge is the first place you're going to see. There you're going to find very friendly porters that are going to give you instructions on how to navigate the college. When you enter the college through the Porter's Lodge, you're going to reach the oldest part of the college, the front quad. This is North Quad, which unifies much of the college from fellows in the senior common room to some first years in the hexagonal rooms of the Beehive and many second and third years in the other staircases of the quad. This is Tommy White Quad. He holds lots of students' accommodation, especially for first-year students. It's also a very sociable place because here you can find the junior common rooms and medium common rooms, a space for undergrads and grad students to socialize. Kendra is the newest quad, which has the most popular accommodation in college. It also has a cafe that serves informal lunches, snacks and drinks. It also doubles up as a sociable working space. Here you'll also find the law library, teaching rooms, as well as the gym. The college has gyms and other sporting facilities. We're working hard to get those open in a safe and socially distanced way. This is the new study centre finished in 2019. It contains all the core books that you'll need for your course and it provides lots of online resources. If they don't have something that you need, you can order it in advance. And there are also other Oxford University libraries that you can use. The librarians around Oxford would be willing to help you if you have any questions. This is Hall. Hall serves three meals a day and in normal times plays host to informal and formal dinners. For the formals, the college fellows are seated at high table above all the students, surrounded by pictures of past presidents and fellows of the college. This is the St. John's Chapel. It was first completed in 1530 and has been in constant use since 1618. The chapel is a place for reflection for people of all denominations of Christian faith, other faiths and no faith at all, and hosts services also six days a week, every day except Saturday. We have an amazing garden in the back of the college, which is much bigger than you would expect and it's quite a haven in the middle of the city. Other than the main lawn, we encourage you to walk or have a picnic in the grass, you can study or have a snooze. We encourage you to use the garden as much as you can.